Good morning, Pencers. It's Tuesday. So, Nelly, your birthday sounds like it was really fun, and um, that's awesome. I'm glad that you said how old you were because I have discovered recently that I I don't really remember how old any of you are like I, I know everybody's birthday but I never remember how old you guys are because I never had a list of everyone's birth year or anything so I've now reached a point where we've been doing this so long that when I try to remember how old somebody is I first have to try to remember how old they were when we started the collab and then like count up and since I can't always remember how old everybody was when we started I don't always get everybody's age right now so that was a really long-winded way of saying I'm glad you mentioned it. Your massage sounds fun. I'm glad that you got to do that. That's really cool. I never really thought wild about being touched by strangers, so I, I think that would have just made me really uncomfortable, but I'm glad that you got to do it, especially since it's something you've been wanting to do for a really long time. Um, I hope it helped. I hope that your back feels better. As far as reading goes, like, your reading lists are always so much better than mine. Like, I've basically just been reading the Oz books because I never read any of them as a child, and there's like a million Oz books. The man was, like, prolific. You know, they're all in the public domain, so I've just been reading, like, free ebooks from, like, Project Gutenberg and, like, Google Books and places like that. I've read the first eight or nine of them now, so that's been kind of fun, just sort of going through a, a series that I never read as a kid that I know is was really important to a lot of people I knew like I knew other people who really loved the Oz books and I never, never read any of them and then I've like I've been rereading a couple of things like I reread um, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman and I've been rereading a couple of Jennifer Cruzy books and um, that's about it I, I haven't really been reading anything very exciting I've been doing a lot of like languagey stuff on Duolingo mostly. I completed my French tree a while back, and I haven't really been doing that much work on French, but I can, I've, I find that I can read easy stuff surprisingly well in French, and I got to try it out yesterday because our dogs have really bad skin, and one of them got some prescription shampoo, and so we had to wash her with it yesterday, and um, I discovered that they had put the prescription label at the vets um, over the English directions on the bottle, but it also had a section of French directions, and it turned out that I could read, like, almost all of the French directions, so I felt very pleased with myself. It's a small step, but it's a step. So yeah, I finished the French tree and I'm, I'm still trying to like strengthen that. And um, I've been working on the Esperanto tree, which just came out, so that's exciting. I haven't done anything very exciting this week. My mom fell out in the garden and damaged her leg somehow. I, I don't know exactly what's wrong with it. She went to the doctor and they basically said it's too swollen to take x-rays, so come back in a couple of weeks. Here are some pain pills. So. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's up with it. She's fine, you know, she's just like, has kind of a messed up leg at the moment. So that's basically what I've been doing. Reading, doing language stuff, trying to keep my mom from, you know, damaging herself more, washing dogs. So I hope you guys are having an excellent week, and I will see you next Tuesday. And don't forget to be awesome.